In this video, I will show you the best way to self-host N8N and create free unlimited workflows. But first, let's understand what is the self-hosted AI starter kit by N8N. In the starter kit, we'll have self-hosted N8N, Olama, Quadrant, PostgreSQL. And all of these features will be fully local, so self-hosted, in a local development environment. So let's understand what are the differences between N8N Cloud, a simple container on Docker, and the starter kit. For the simple Docker container, I've made a video last week, I think, on the easiest way to self-host N8N, but it might not fit your needs. So rapidly on N8N Cloud, you will host everything on the cloud of N8N, and it will cost more money, but it is auto-scalable. So the more processing power and storage you need, uh, the more you will pay. And that's it. For the simple Docker container and the starter kit, in both you will self-host N8N, but for the simple container, you will just have this and anything else will be connected via APIs. On the other hand, the starter kit also allow you to not only self-host N8N, but also your memory, your vector database, your embedded model, and your chat model. So if we're talking about only a local environment, with the simple container on Docker, you cannot do much, but with the starter kit, you can do pretty much everything. Now let's go on the GitHub of N8N that you will find on the starter kit uh, documentation page. Uh, you will find it here. So you will find this link uh, in description. So this is uh, the main page. Uh, you have the same information here, what is included, etc., etc. So you have multiple ways of installing it depending on what type of computer you have. For NVIDIA GPU users, uh, for Mac, Apple Silicon users, and for everyone else. So for my case, I will use this one. So before copy-paste uh, this line in your terminal, the first thing you will do is install Docker Desktop. So you go on docker.com and you download it for uh, your computer. Once this is done, we can go back uh, here and we'll copy the first line. So this first line is to clone the Git repository of uh, N8N. So you open Docker Desktop once it's installed. And as you can see here on the container page, I already have installed self-hosted AI starter kit, but I will do it again with you. You will create a file anywhere you want. I created it on my desktop and the name of the file is N8N underscore file. Once you've created uh, this empty folder, you go on terminal here uh, on the bottom and you will write ls. This is to see what folder you have on the current path you're in. And my file is on desktop here, so I will go in this file. To do this, you need to enter the command cd and type the name of where you want to go. So now, as you can see, we are on desktop and my file is file. Now, I am on the wanted file and this is where you will paste uh, the git clone command. So let me clone this. Now let's copy the two last commands here. And if we look here with the same command uh, that we used at the beginning, ls, to see what folder we have, now we can see that we have this folder here created by the git clone command. Now let's use the second command. So cd uh, this file to go inside this file. And let's paste the last command that was docker uh, compose. Let me just delete this like this, and this will just create a container for your local environment. So let's enter this. Once this is done, you should have something that looks like this, the self-hosted AI starter kit. And if you select the drop-down menu, you should have uh, N8N, Olama, Quadrant, Postgres. And now to make N8N available on your local host, you need to run the self-hosted starter kit. So let's run this and it will run uh, everything here. Once this is done, you just go on your browser and you type localhost 5678 and you run it. And you will have access to N8N. But in your case, you might have the sign up or login page and you just create an account. So I've created this workflow to test every features of the starter kit. And the first one is the Olama chat model. So basically, uh, you want to go on chat model and select Olama chat model. You will see that you don't need a credential to connect to Olama because this is local self-hosted. But for the models, you will see that normally you should have only a Llama 3.2 latest and you will surely need more than one model. To download more models uh, locally, you will need to go on Olama 
you go uh, on the search bar and let's say I want to use uh, Mistral. You go on the model you want, you select uh, the version you want, I will select the latest and you will have this line of command that you will copy. After this, you go back on Docker on the container page, you go on Olama, on exec uh, here and you paste your command and you press enter of course. You will need to wait a little bit and as you can see, uh, Mistral Large, for example, is 4.1 GB. So be careful to not install too much models and only install the one you need. Once this is done, we can go back on NetN and see if we have Mistral available. So let me uh, refresh this page. Uh, let me disconnect this, connect it again. And as you can see, we have Mistral Latest available. So this is for uh, Olama. For the memory, this is the same idea. Let me delete this. If we select uh, Postgres here, you can see that we already have an account again because this is done in local. And finally, for the Quadrant Vector Store, this is again the same idea. We already have an account and your agent can retrieve files from a local folder. Now you're done, you have the best setup to create workflow on N8N locally and for free. If you're interested to only self-host N8N and you don't want your model, your memory and your vector store to be self-hosted, you can click on this video. If you have any question regarding the starter kit, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.